Hi, I'm Rebecca and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a slightly different video. It's going to be a very short video and it is just to officially announce that the Irene sweater, which I am wearing, the test knit applications has gone live today. So today is Tuesday the 21st of November when you're watching this and the applications will be open for the next two weeks. Um, I've done a post on Instagram about this sweater very recently and briefly mentioned it in my last podcast. So I don't feel like it's had a lot of screen time to really answer some questions that you may have if you are considering test knitting this pattern. So I just thought I would put together a really short video just addressing some of your questions and what is involved in the test knit and hopefully get you all excited about it because I know I definitely am. So this is the Irene sweater named so after my Nana who taught me how to knit as a child and where my journey with knitting really started so it felt like designing is a new journey in itself so coming back to where it all began felt like the most appropriate name so this is the Irene sweater it is a oversized drop shoulder sweater with a continuous textured stripe which consists of pearl bumps and dip stitches. I personally think the dip stitches look a lot like flower buds, like the flower head of a bluebell or a snowdrop and I really like it. It's nice and subtle and it's surprisingly easy to achieve. So. This is the iron sweater. It also has a, a quite a wide neckline, which I personally really, really like and really wanted when designing this. And I think I've achieved it. So it is a double folded neck, neck band in one by one rib. The cuffs and the hem are also in one by one rib. And the hem, I have written instructions for either a split hem which I have here, or a regular hem, depending on your preference. Um, as I said, it's oversized. It's designed to have 20 centimetres of positive ease, but I have written in the pattern, if you want more ease, less ease, how to achieve that, bearing in mind de yoke depths and body lengths and sleeve lengths. So you can really customise it to suit your needs and your body um, so yeah it's it's very versatile and quite a straightforward pattern so this this has been professionally graded and tech edited by the wonderful Rebecca Williamson it has been drafted several times and looked through by a tech editor so I'm hoping to start this test knit on Tuesday the 5th of December so that is in two weeks time and have it running all the way until the 10th of March, Sunday the 10th of March 2024. So it's a really long, really relaxed test knit. Um, I know that the festive season is coming up, people have, have commitments over this time, it is gift knitting season. So I, I have thought about that and that is why it is quite long and into the spring. I also, this is my first design, so I have definitely been more on the test knitter side than the designer side. So when I've been making these decisions, a lot of it has come from thinking about what as, as a tester I would personally want. So having it without the pressure, hopefully really relaxed and enjoyable is really important to me when I test knit. So that is why it is, it is lengthy. Um, I'm hoping that it will also create a nice community feel about it as well. So I have my laptop in front of me. Ooh. So I'm just gonna nip through some of the more nitty gritty details, <laughs> nitty gritty details. Um, so if you are interested, um, 
it will all be there. And of course, I, at the top line of the description will be the link to the Google form if you are interested in test knitting. Um, all of, everything I'm talking about in this video is in there, as well as I have a post over on my Instagram as well, if that's the best place for you to find that information. So, in terms of difficulty, I believe that I personally think that is a really relatively simple construction. The yoke is worked flat and then joined in the round for the body and the sleeves are also worked in the round. Um, it's a really simple texture but I think it looks really impactful and impressive. So I have said that this would be ideal for a motivated beginner or above. So I consider, and in the application I've said a motivated beginner just get it up, is someone who's enthusiastic about learning new knitting skills and can tackle a basic sweater. So if that sounds like you, if you can knit and you can purl, you are more than welcome to join the test knit. You don't have to have test knitted before. If this is your first test knit, if it means my first test knit as a designer. So if it's your first test knit, you are more than welcome to get involved. Um, in terms of sizing, it was really important to me to make this a size inclusive design. So it comes in nine sizes from A to I, and I will I will add an image with all the sizes, but as the smallest size is to fit a 75 centimeter or 29.5 inch bust, and the largest size, size I, is to fit 135 centimeter or 61 inch bust and then the finished garment will have the 20 centimeters positive ease on top of that. I have used for this a 4.5 millimeter needle apart from a 4 millimeter when it came to the ribbing. But again this is suggested needle size, you use whatever needle you require to meet the gauge which is 21 stitches in 12 centimetres and 25 rows in 10 centimetres. Um, the yarn I have used for my sample is Cascade 220 in the shade River Rock. I really like this yarn. It is a yarn which I have tried and tested on many, many garments and I personally feel that it holds up well. I think it's perfect when it comes to texture. So having a textured stripe it just makes it really pop and stand out but you can use whatever yarn you want combinations of yarn the choice is yours as long as you meet gauge whatever makes you happy and um, for my second sample i will be using um, phil kalana peruvian highland wool in the shade light gray i'm just waiting for that to arrive and i will be knitting along with the test knit as well I will either start with the testers or slightly after. So in the application, I have also listed the techniques that are involved in this sweater, just so that if, if you are applying, you fully informed. Um, the only thing I would say is that there is a dip stitch, which is what creates this flower effect and not everybody would have done a dip stitch and that is completely fine. I have included in the pattern a video of me talking through how to do it, a very short tutorial of it worked flat and in the round so if you're a bit unsure about that and that's a technique that you've not done before don't panic it's really straightforward don't let that put you off. Um, requirements for the test knit I have put that you're a motivated beginner or above, um, that you are able to meet the deadline, which is the 10th of March, 2024. And once the test knit is over, I will have a form for you to fill out um, with any comments and including your meterage used and um, any modifications that you made to the pattern. And again, it's not essential for you to have a Ravelry or a public Instagram account, but I have asked in 
in the application. I mean, it's preferable, but definitely not a requirement. So I'm planning to run this test net on Google Docs. So the pattern will be there. Um, you won't be able to edit it, but you will be able to add comments. And I think this is quite a good way. So then when I make changes to make changes to the pattern based on your comments, everybody will have access of the most up-to-date version of the pattern rather than loads and loads and loads of documents. Um, I will also set up an Instagram group chat. So if you are on Instagram, again, it would be lovely to have you over there and it should create a really nice community feel. Um, again, it's not essential that you are in the group chat, it's just an added bonus. I really do believe that test knitters and a test knit is a really, really important stage of having a really a really strong good pattern and I've definitely as I've said I am more used to being on the test knitting side so I appreciate everybody that it that chooses to be involved in this that applies to this and to say thank you once the pattern is released you will of, of course receive a copy of the final version and this is my first design so I don't have another pattern which I could offer you in addition to this but I would really would like to offer an additional copy to all my test knitters as well which they can give to a friend and um, hopefully as other designs come out I will be able to offer additional patterns as well but this is just purely because it's my first design and um, if you apply and unfortunately aren't successful and um, I will keep you in mind for future test nets but I will also offer you a 20% discount on the pattern when it is released as well. Um, I think that is everything. I also have a section in the, if there's anything else you want me to know about like if you can't meet deadlines let's have a chat about it. Um, I appreciate that the larger sizes may need more time and I'm very flexible and very open to suggestions. So yeah, thank you for your time, choosing to share your time with me today. I of course will have everything linked in the description box and um, I look hopefully look forward to seeing you, some of you in the test net. Um, as I said, the application will be open for two weeks with a start date for the test net of the 5th of December. So yeah, I hope you're all ready. Have your needles at the ready and I'll speak to you soon. Bye now.